Hello, and welcome to our Serenade video. In this video, we will go over custom intake forms. With this, you can create your own intake form with your own specific questions, which will then allow you to send to the clients in the client portal or to use in the alternate view of the client profile. Additionally, you can send a custom intake form as a password-less link. This will be discussed in another video. Let us log into the Caseworker portal. To be able to design custom intake forms, you must have access to the Admin Tools page. Let us access this by clicking on the Settings icon on the top right and proceed to click on Administrative Tools. Once in the Admin Tools, you can click on the Custom Form Templates icon. From here, locate the Intake Forms tab on the right and click on it. We will proceed to click on Add Custom Intake Form. For this example, we are building one for an individual client. Let us click on Individual Client. We are now in the area to design a custom intake form. The first thing we want to do is name it to help identify when wanting to send to clients or to use in the alternate view. To the left, you will see different possibilities of things you can add to your custom intake form. Let us go through these options. The first is text. When clicked, you will see a section appear. Here you will enter the question you want to ask your clients. You will then decide how you want them to answer in the drop-down menu. You can do a short text, a longer text area, a date selection, phone number, email address, and numeric value. Let us create a dummy one with a short text area and one with a date area. Once you add questions, you can click on the preview icon on the top right to show you how the intake currently looks. If you created questions and want to rearrange, you can simply click on the question, drag it to the position you like, and the questions will now be rearranged. The next section on the left is yes or no questions. If selected, you can then type out the question and select the options for yes or no, or yes, no, and not applicable. The next option is list. With list, you can have a question and have the software have a drop down list. We have a couple different options. You can list the countries, their gender, and relationships. You can also create your own list. Your client will then select an option from the drop down list. The next option is multiple choice. If selected, you can type out the question. Additionally, you can create different answers by entering the answer and clicking on add. They will now be listed as answers. The next option is single choice. With multiple choice, you were able to make multiple selections. With single choice, your clients can only pick one. Similarly, you will add the question and the different answers. Your next option is name. When clicked, it will allow you to type out the question such as what is your complete name, and from there you can select how you want them to format their answer. Your next option is address info. You can type out the question such as what is your physical address, and you can even ask for county info, state and zip code, and even province and postal code info. Lastly, you can add a document upload section. This will then allow your clients to upload documents as they are working on this questionnaire. We have now seen how to format and ask many types of questions. On the next page, we will show you how we can tag a question to a section of the client profile so that when answered, the answer goes to that section of the client profile. But before we do that, let us finish showing the types of questions you can add. The next section is titled Templates and has questions already formatted for you when wanting to ask about the client's father, the client's mother, and the client's spouse info. Additionally, these questions themselves are already mapped to a section of the client profile, which we'll see in a little bit. If you select one, a pop-up box will appear. Here you will see default selections. You can then check and uncheck questions you'd like to know about the client's father, mother, or spouse. Finalize by clicking Add. You have now added a series of questions pertaining to the client's father, client's mother, or client's spouse. The next type of questions you can add are repeated sections. Repeated sections are like template questions in which they are already predefined and pre-mapped to sections of the client profile. The main difference between the two is in templates, you can only add one answer. With repeated sections, you can add multiple listings as these questions require the client to add more than one listing. Sections we have here are other names, previous addresses, marriage history, employment history, education history, client abroad trips, client children, client members, 
client affiliations, and client arrests. If we were to select an option like previous addresses, it will list the previous address section here, including the dates to and from. I can modify the question if we want or leave as is. Delete info if I don't want it or leave as is as well. If we were to click on preview, we will see how it looks different to other sections we previously created. It will create a box specifically for the previous addresses. When sending this out to your clients, your clients can then insert multiple entries here. On the bottom of the box are options to add entries and delete entries. The same box logic will be applied when including other sections in the repeated section, such as employment history, client children, client members, and so on. You will see a box for each, and your clients will have the ability to enter multiple entries. The last couple things to show on this page is the layout and options for your intake form. In the layout, we have different tools. The first is a header. You can make it into a small header, medium, or large header, and type out the header. Once created, you can drag it to anywhere you'd like, such as at the top, or even create subheaders for sections. If we click Preview, we will see our headers. The next option is Description. This is an area where you can enter subtext such as instructions for your clients when viewing the intake form. Once you have typed out the description, same as the header, you can drag it and apply it to a section. You can confirm how it looks by clicking on the preview button. The next is adding a horizontal line, in case you want to separate sections of this intake form with a line. You can drag and drop it anywhere. Lastly, you can add a vertical space in case you want to create separation between sections or headers. Simply add it, and then drag it between sections you want space. In the Options section, the last couple things you can do is you can check to include your logo. This logo can be inserted in the Admin Tools page, specifically the Branding section of the Admin Tools. You can also choose to number the questions. Once you have your questions set and are satisfied with how it looks, we can proceed to the next section of the intake forms, which would be tag it to a section of the client profile. We are now at the area to tag the questions. At the top, you will see how many questions are unmapped and they will also be highlighted in orange. On the right hand side, you will see two main components, the category and the field. You will first want to select the category. This means where in the client profile is this going, specifically the tabs on the right of the client profile. For our first example, we are asking for their first name, so we want this to go into the general info section of the client profile. On the field, we will then locate subcategories in the general info section. If you click on search fields, by default it will list sections of the general info. You may also type out a section. Once we find first name, we will click on it. This question is now tagged to the first name in the general info section of the client profile. We will move on to the next question, middle name. We will select the category, choosing General Info. We will then select the field. If we click on it, we will select Middle Name. But before we do, please note that you can no longer see or select First Name. The reason for this is it is already tied to a question. You can only select one question to go into one field in the client profile. The only exception is repeatable sections we saw earlier, as you can have multiple entries. You will go one by one tagging each question, assigning it to a client profile category, and then a field in the category. If you do not have a field for a specific question, you can create a custom field in the client profile, and then it will become an option here, meaning the answer to the question will go into the custom field. If you do not want to create a custom field and do not want to tag it, the answer will stay within this intake form when submitted. For templates and repeated sections such as client spouse and employment history, you will notice that the category and the fields are already selected. This means you do not need to modify. Whenever this is answered on the intake form, the answers will go to the appropriate section of the client profile. The last thing to do before we save and exit is you can make a question a required field. By checking the boxes to your right, your clients cannot submit their questionnaire until they apply an answer to a question. You will proceed to choose which questions you want to be required to answer when submitting questionnaires. Once finished, you can click on Save. You can rename it and even add a description to help identify in the Caseworker portal. Once saved, you can come back and make edits at any time. Additionally, you can even make the exact copy of an intake by clicking on the Copy button, in case you want to create a similar intake form and add or remove a couple questions. 
We have now created our custom intake form and can click on the settings icon on the top right and proceed to click on Caseworker Portal. Once in the Caseworker Portal, you can now send this as a questionnaire like you normally would with our standard questionnaires, and you can go into the client profile, click on the alternate view, select the drop down menu, and locate the intake you just created. You can proceed to enter info on the intake and when saved, it will go to the appropriate location in the client profile. In another video, we will go over translating custom intake forms to have questions in another language. This concludes our video on creating custom intake forms.